Hello and welcome to this Sunvox tutorial. This is a quick start guide for your first song in Sunvox. Alright, so let me just quickly explain what Sunvox is all about. Sunvox is a modular tracking software. Tracking is in the way that it organizes its patterns like this, and modular is in the way that it uses its instruments. It has a modular instrument building design which makes it so you can create very cool complex synths with just the modules that are built into Sunvox. Sunvox is the best free DAW for making music in my opinion. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to show you the bare minimum of what you need to write your first song in Sunvox. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you need, obviously, is to download Sunvox. There should be a video in this corner if you haven't done that already. Make sure that we uh, press this button in the corner and click New Project and then click Empty. With that out of the way, let's explain some things. Sunvox has three major parts to it. We have the timeline down here, and this is where we organize our song. We have the module view, this is where we organize and create our own instruments. And then we have the pattern editor, and this is where we make patterns for our songs. Alright, with that out of the way, the first thing I want to explain a little bit more in depth is going to be the module view. In Sunbox, the module view, this center piece right here, is where we can put our instruments. We have right here a module called the output, and we have to make sure we connect all our instruments to the output, or else there will be no sound in our song. So go ahead and double click to open up this new module tab, and then let's create a generator module, which is the fourth one down. There we go. Now we have this generator module, and what this module does is it generates just some simple waveforms, some simple sounds, some simple synths that we can use. So uh, all we have to do now to get some sound is to press the this keyboard here. Now as you see, it shows a visual, but the problem is, is we do not have it routed to the output module. So what we have to do to do this is just hold shift, click and drag, and route it. There you go, you're routed to the output, now we can get some sound. And that's a pretty basic sound. You can modify the parameters of the generator right here, change the volume, the waveform, and other things, which we won't go in depth for this specific tutorial, because we don't need to. This is your first song. We're not trying to be all fancy like today. All right, so, now that we've created our first module, let's go ahead and start adding some notes into our pattern. Now we have this pattern selected in the timeline, so click that, and let's go down here and make sure you have your generator selected, and then we can go to the pattern editor. Now, in the patterns, there's one thing we have to note first, which is the pattern plays from the top to the bottom, and these lines are where we add our notes. So, what we want to do is uh, press spacebar or the unlock button right here to enter pattern edit mode. And now, we can use the arrow keys or the mouse to move around the pattern, and we can add notes to the very left side, the note section, of this pattern here. So all we have to do is start pressing in some notes. And there we go. We can use the arrow keys to move around. And as you can see, I've added some notes which are on these little highlighted lines. And that's because this is a beat. Every highlighted line is a beat in your song. All right, so we can actually play this now, these notes that we've added, by pressing this play button right here. And you can see it repeats itself over and over again. All right, that's pretty nice. Let's add in some bass on this next track. There's four tracks on this pattern right now, so we can go to this note section now, and let's add a bass. 
what I just did here to move this keyboard around, I pressed F1 so that it would show the lowest octave. Uh, you can use this these octave keys to move octaves around. So let's go ahead and use our mouse to add a C. We'll make this kind of a more sad song. There we go. All right, so now I've shown you how to add notes into the pattern. Now, the last thing we need to do is organize our song. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we can move this pattern around, or what I want to do is make this song a little bit longer. As you can see, it's only three seconds. So let's do what's called the clone, which is Control D or right click and you can click clone. And what that will do is just uh, clone this pattern forward a couple times. And now it will repeat itself a couple times. All right, well, we want to add some variance to the song. So let's actually delete these cloned patterns. And let's add a new pattern by double clicking. There we go, we've added a new pattern. And let's do something else this time. This is gonna sound like row, row your boat. Kinda, apparently. There we go. And let's go ahead and add in our bass now. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I'm trying to be all unique, but... There we go. Let's go ahead and clone that pattern now. So now we have uh, a little song we've created here. How about let's add one more thing, and we're going to create a new module in the module view by double-clicking and adding a drum synth, which is just right below the generator. Hold shift and drag, click, click, drag, to connect it to the output. And let's add some drums, but let's create a new pattern by double clicking. And actually, let's put our drums in this new pattern so we don't have to put it in each individual pattern here. So let's just add some, this drum synth just has a bunch of drums. So just find the one you want. and start adding notes. And let's add some hi-hats on the new place here. And then let's add some snares. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I like that one. Now let's go ahead and use Control D to clone the pattern further. And we've created our first little song. Let's go ahead and play it and then I'll show you how to save your song and export it. And then you will be finished with this tutorial and you will have made your first song in Sunbox within just a matter of a couple minutes. So let's go ahead and play it. Alright, so the final step is to save our song and export it. So we press this little button in the corner and we see we have all these options. Uh, we can create new project, we can load a project, we can merge a project, whatnot. So basically what we need to do is just save our project and uh, you can go ahead and save it wherever you like. I have a folder specified for all my projects. It's kind of messy. But we'll just call this tutorial. Press OK. And you've done. You've saved your song. You can press load next time you open, in, open up Sunbox and work on your project some more. If, uh, if I can find it. There it is. 
bam, we've loaded it. There you go. Now, uh, I'll show you how to export your song. Just click export, click export to wave, and choose your bit depth. It doesn't matter. Waveform is pretty much lossless. So you can just press, make sure that you're in one file, right there, and then click export. And then you can export your song. Bam, exported, and your song should be in that folder that you exported it to. You can go listen to it there, or send it to your friends, or whatever. I have more in-depth tutorials on Sunbox on my YouTube channel after you get used to the things you've learned here, I recommend go watching those to increase your skill and capability with this amazing software. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.